All right. Um, hello, my name is Alex Paterelli. I am the Assistant Director of Undergraduate Admission. Um, welcome to the info session for Regis. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, so a little bit about Regis. We were actually founded in 1927 by the Sisters of St. Joseph of Boston. Um, we were originally uh, founded as an all women's institution, but went co-ed in 2007. So just about 13 years that we've been co-ed. Um, right now, our campus community is about a thousand undergrads, a um, thousand uh, grad students, and then a thousand online grad students. So about 3000 students all in um, across our student body and a huge emphasis on um, our family, close-knit community, uh, where everyone gets to know each other across our faculty, staff, and students. Um, definitely a close-knit community. And you can see our campus right here in the background. And one of the things that the Sisters of St. Joseph really left for us was this um, sense of a commitment to service. So we um, do not require service for our students. Um, but it is something that a lot of our students will participate in. Um, and it's something that you can choose to um, participate, you know, every semester or if you want to do it once over your full time or not do it at all. But we do offer uh, service trips. So this group right here is actually in South Dakota, um, working on a Native American reservation, um, helping to build this bunkhouse that they're standing in. But we've had students go to Kenya, Nicaragua, Peru, New Orleans, Los Angeles, South Dakota. So really all over and you go during one of your breaks. So you can go during Christmas break, spring break or summer break. Um, and you go with this cohort of Regis students and do a week um, or a couple days longer than a week uh, of service in a different area. And it's an awesome way to also explore a new culture, um, and travel a little bit with a group of Regis students. We also offer local community service. So if you are uh, interested in doing um, local service to give back, and then the college actually has Founders Day um, in early fall, where uh, classes uh, in the morning of Founders Day are canceled, and it's an opportunity for the whole community, faculty, staff, and students to get out there and do community service together. So Founders Day is a big tradition at Regis um, where everybody is able to go do community service on that day together, and not have to worry about missing class or anything like that. So we do have four schools at Regis, uh, the first of them being the School of Health Sciences. Um, and some of our most popular majors in the School of Health Sciences include dental hygiene, diagnostic medical sonography, and nuclear medicine. Um, we do have some unique programs in psychology and social work that I'll talk about a little bit later. And then if you're interested in um, physical therapy, athletic training, or occupational therapy, you might think about going into um, our undergrad exercise science or nutrition or therapeutic recreation. So um, those programs have a nice track into any of that um, you know, occupational therapy or physical therapy that you're thinking about after you graduate Regis. So um, those programs go really nicely. Um, and then some of our more intense medical programs that I mentioned earlier, like the medical sonography and nuclear medicine and dental hygiene, have all state-of-the-art labs um, on our campus. And um, the dental hygiene one is just off of our campus in Waltham, um, just a few miles down the road. So all state-of-the-art labs that you can use and um, have opportunities to practice, work with patients, um, and have um, some clinical lab experience before you actually work on your um, actual clinical rotation in a hospital or in the dental setting. And then we have our Sloan School of Business and Communication. Um, our most popular major in the School of Business and Communication is our Global Business Management because you get a wide range of your business. So you're gonna get some analytics and marketing, also some finance and accounting, um, and your global business management kind of covers each different aspect of business. Um, there's also awesome internship opportunities, whether you wanna work 
um, in more of a communication standpoint. Um, you can see the student down here was working for KISS 108, or if you wanna work more for a marketing firm, we have used Constant Contact and Waltham as a place for internships. Um, so there's lots of different internship opportunities um, in the business and communication and marketing field, uh, especially being right outside of Boston, so easy access into Boston, but also um, some internship opportunities right around campus as well. And then we have our Young School of Nursing. Um, we are one of the country's top nursing programs and top 10 overall in New England by the Nursing Schools Almanac. Uh, and we have long-standing relationships with all the major Boston hospitals. So we send students to Boston Children's, Mass General, Brigham and Women, and then also to some smaller community hospitals. So students can get a feel before they graduate do I want to go into a big city hospital? Do I want to go into a smaller hospital? Um, or do I want to work in pediatrics or um, the cardiac unit or the emergency room? So you get a feel for it before you graduate based on all the clinical rotations you do. What is the right path for you if you're interested in nursing? So um, we also have state-of-the-art labs on campus uh, that you can do a lot of um, clinical lab practice before you head out to your clinical rotation in the hospital. Um, and we were the first university in New England to be designated a center of excellence in nursing education. We also offer um, higher degrees in nursing um, if you're interested in later on becoming a nurse practitioner. Um, we offer, you know, tracks into that master's program for the nurse practitioner program as well. And then last but not least, we have our School of Arts and Sciences where um, a lot of our liberal arts programs are held. Uh, if you're interested in the pre-med, pre-dental, or pre-vet, uh, a lot of our students will go into biology. Um, and that is easily um, coupled with those pre-professional programs. Um, also, we have our criminal justice and cybersecurity programs that really go hand in hand when it comes to um, different aspects of criminal justice. And then one of our most popular majors in the School of Arts and Sciences is the education program. Um, and we have all levels of education from early childhood all the way through higher education. So um, any you know, aspect of education that you want to be a part of, uh, you can definitely do that at Regis. And then um, we have our humanities department. Uh, if you're interested in more of the humanities field, like um, political and global studies or history. Uh, and then finally, if you're not sure what you want to study, um, you can definitely come in undecided. So uh, if you're not thinking about uh, one of those more um, rigorous uh, medical programs like dental hygiene, nursing, or any of the medical imaging programs, you can come in undecided for any of our other programs and you can um, take some classes in each of the programs and by, the, by your sophomore year, make a decision about which uh, program that you're interested in studying. So that is um, definitely something that a lot of our students will take advantage of. You come, you get some core classes done, you take classes in different areas, and then you make a decision about what you wanna study later on. And then we have our learning commons. Um, and in our learning commons, we have um, a bunch of different aspects of the learning commons. So it is home to our library. Um, we also have our academic coaches in the learning commons. So every student is assigned an academic coach when you start at Regis. Um, you can use them as much or as little as you want. Some students use them once a week, sometimes once a semester. Um, but it's really an opportunity to go in and learn from somebody some time management skills or study skills um, that will help you in a more general sense. But then we also have peer tutoring in the writing center. We're able to get more specific help on um, a certain class. Uh, the peer tutoring offers the opportunity for you to meet with other students who have taken those classes and um, be able to work with them and figure out what they did to do well in that class and how you can maybe translate that to help you as well. Um, and then uh, we also have in our Learning Commons our Office of Accessibility Services and our Academic Advising Office. 
Uh, so all of your academic resources are really housed right in that learning commons. So you can go to the library and get some books and study, or you can go and get some um, extra help in the different offices um, and services that are offered there. And then of course, the most popular part of the learning commons is the Dunkin' Donuts. So if you have a late night study session, you can grab a coffee or a donut or a bagel and um, you know, head up to the different areas of the library. And then lastly, we have this 24 hour online paper review. So well after the offices are closed, you have an opportunity to go in, um, submit your, your paper online and get feedback. So um, we really work to support our students at Regis. Um, we want everyone to be set up for success. So um, we have this online paper review. So even after the offices are closed, you still have this level of support from Regis that will help you complete your coursework. And we do have some fast track programs at Regis, which I um, alluded to a little bit earlier, but um, the first ones are the four plus one programs. So it's an opportunity to take three graduate courses as an undergrad. And by the time you graduate, you have six or seven classes left to take to finish your master's. So it would be a four plus one program. Um, with that program, you're, if you get a 3.0 or above in those classes, your GRE is waived, which is essentially the grad school equivalent of your SAT. So it's a standardized test to get into grad school, but if you get a B or above in those classes, then that would be waived. And the great part about that is your undergraduate tuition is unchanged. So you are getting classes that count both to your undergrad and graduate degree without having to pay for them twice. So um, you're really getting a leg up on other students going into their master's program and able to finish a lot quicker um, because of that. We also offer five three-year bachelor's degree programs at Regis, which are in psychology and social work, as I um, talked about a little bit earlier, and then also global business management, biology, and um, in the humanities as well. And the great part about those, especially if you think about a program like biology, if you are thinking about going into a medical school for pre-med or dental school or vet school after you graduate, you're gonna be in a lot of school and spending a lot of money. So um, the opportunity to get your, master, or your bachelor's done uh, a year earlier and head off to medical school, you save a decent amount of money um, because the cost savings is up to $54,000 over your three year period. You do have to do some online summer work um, and you would be able to graduate that year earlier and head to a master's program in social work or go to a master's program uh, or go to a medical school. We also have the master's programs at Regis that couple with each of the five programs. So for global business management, you might go right into our one year master's in communication um, or psychology, you might go right into one of our two psychology masters. So. Um, the opportunities to also stay at Regis and still do your four years, but get your bachelor's and master's in that four years um, is also something that you can do as well. So as we move um, from our academic um, programs to more of our student life, um, the first place we'll stop is uh, when, with our clubs and organizations. So we have over 30 different clubs and organizations on campus. Uh, one of my favorite days of the whole year is this middle picture uh, you'll see here, which is the activities fair. Um, in that activities fair, all the clubs and organizations set up outside, you're able to walk around, figure out when their meetings are, sign up for their email list. Um, it's a good way in your first year at Regis to kind of figure out how you're gonna get involved. Um, there's usually music, there's games, there's free giveaways. Who doesn't love a free college t-shirt? Um, so it's always fun to go and get some um, giveaways, but also learn how you can get more involved at Regis. Uh, and if there's not a club that, um, you know, if there's a club that we don't have that you had in high school, very easy to start a new club. So um, this is also an opportunity to get in front of um, the Center for Student Engagement in their offices and say, hey, I walked around the um, activities fair. I didn't see a club I was interested in, but I'd be interested in starting this club and that's an opportunity during this activities fair to kind of express your interests and find out um, if there's a way to start a new club. 
When it comes to athletics, uh, we compete in the Great Northeast Athletic Conference, also known as the GNAC um, across campus. And we have 20 NCAA Division III teams. Um, and we have uh, our facilities right on campus. So we have a pool, the track and field, uh, softball field, the tennis courts, the basketball court. Um, we also have uh, cardio and weight rooms across campus. We have two weight room cardio rooms that are in residence halls, one in the um, freshman residence hall, uh, Angela, and one in the upper class residence hall, Maria Hall. But then we also have um, the weight room cardio room, the main weight room cardio room in um, our athletic complex. So lots of opportunities to, um, you know, either be on a team or continue exercising or even to have like a pickup game with your friends or be um, in intramurals. Uh, and all of our coaches do recruit. They're full time. So um, you can go in and uh, on our website and see uh, the head coach and the assistant coaches and they um, are the best people to get in touch with if you're interested in playing a sport. Um, and with division three, we uh, are only based in academic scholarships. There's no athletic scholarships. So not only are the coaches uh, recruiting um, great athletes, they're also uh, there as another support system, as we talked about earlier with the supports we have in the library. If you're an athlete, your coach is very invested in making sure that you're keeping up with your grades so you can stay on the field or the court. And um, so that is another level of support that we offer at Regis is some of our athletic coaches if you're an athlete. And then when it comes to our um, study abroad opportunities, as I mentioned earlier, we do have some international service trips. Um, and with that, you can go for those international shorter experiences. We also have some classes that do some shorter experiences as well if you're not sure you wanna go for a full semester. There are some classes that have unique um, travel experiences associated with them. But then if you wanna go for a full semester or a full year, you could study abroad um, as long as it's safe and whatever school you're going to, your credits are gonna transfer back. Um, and these are all things that the Center for Global Connections would help you figure out before you even left. Um, so you would be able to figure out what classes would transfer back and what they would count for at Regis. Um, and any of our programs can study abroad. So even if you're interested in nursing or dental hygiene um, or any of those programs, we do have study abroad opportunities that just might look different. So you might study abroad at a different time. Um, if you're a nursing student, you might study abroad in your sophomore year as opposed to junior year like other students. There's also opportunities to study abroad in the summer if you want to do a shorter experience, like a six or eight week experience and not um, study abroad during the school year as well, you can do that. And then 100% of our students complete um, some sort of internship or clinical rotation or um, for uh, any of our education students, a student teaching experience. So um, you would complete at least one internship, depending on your program. Sometimes it's assigned to you, like nursing or dental hygiene, any of our medical imaging programs or um, our education program. That would all be assigned your placement. For the other programs, um, we have great resources to be able to find internships fine tune your resume, practice your interviewing, and really prepare yourself for doing an internship. Um, all of our students are required this one internship, but many of our students will participate in more than one. So you have an opportunity to um, really get some work experience under your belt before you graduate. So you're able to um, you know, show that when you graduate in an interview, hey, I have actual work experience. Um, and I've done not just one, but two or three internships before I graduated. We are just 12 miles from Boston, so um, great access in and out for internships. Um, we have a shuttle that goes right to the train. So we're the, the last stop on the, um, the green line, the D train to Riverside. We're about a five minute drive from there. So the shuttle goes back and forth. Uh, every half hour and it's um, you can get in and out of the city pretty easily for internships 
jobs or if you're going to go for fun or for a game. Um, as far as, uh, you know, driving, we're pretty, if you're coming from Boston, um, we're right off of I-90 Mass Pike. So it's pretty easy in and out um, to get into the city that way as well, um, if you're going to drive. And 97% of our students are either professionally employed or enrolled in graduate school within six months of graduation. Uh, something we're really proud of this number is it's professional employment. Uh, so one thing to really note with that is we count students who have made it into their field professionally. Um, so we're, we're not necessarily counting students who might have gone back to a part-time job or anything like that. It's professional employment. So if you come to Regis, uh, we want you to know that your time, your money, your effort is all worth it. And this is a number that we're, we're really proud of to be able to show that, to show that your degree carries weight in the professional atmosphere and that um, many of our graduates are professionally employed or in grad school very shortly after graduation. And when it comes to financial aid, um, we are, uh, like I mentioned earlier, we're very close in community. So when you have um, your admission and financial aid opportunities, you're not only assigned an admission counselor who's going to read your application, you're also assigned a specific financial aid counselor. So you have the opportunity to really get to know your admission counselor, your financial aid counselor throughout the year. And um, it really makes it a lot easier when you have questions about your financial aid. Um, we do have a uh, very generous financial aid. 100% of our undergraduate students receive some sort of financial assistance. They're automatically considered for merit scholarship. Um, we do offer some outside special scholarships, um, but for your general merit scholarship, you're automatically considered based on your GPA. Um, and then for your need-based financial aid, we look for the free application for federal student aid um, only. That's the only thing we offer, um, the only thing we look for. Uh, it's also known as the FAFSA, which you'll hear about um, here more often, it referred to as the FAFSA. And then when it comes to um, if you yourself uh, is a veteran or you're a child of a veteran, um, Regis accepts the GI Bill benefits and covers the remaining cost of the Yellow Ribbon Program. So. Um, that is uh, another financial aid opportunity if uh, that, that applies to you. When it comes to applying um, for first year students, uh, it is uh, the Common App and the Common App only. That's um, what we offer. We do look for an official high school transcript, uh, depending on when you apply. We may also request your first quarter and midterm grades um, if we didn't get them. The first time, but definitely, definitely at the end of your uh, senior year in high school, we will request the final transcript. So um, if we don't get your first quarter or midterm grades right away, eventually we'll see them on the final transcript. We do um, only require one letter of recommendation, although um, we will uh, take more than one letter of recommendation. So most often students will send two or three. Um, we have had students that will send eight, nine, 10. That's a lot of uh, recommendation letters to send, but we will read them all. So if you want to send that many, uh, you definitely can. But two or three on average is uh, definitely a great amount. Um, it really gives us a sense of who you are as we're reading your application and helping us make um, the most accurate decision on your application. And then we are um, test optional. And um, typically we're not test optional for nursing and dental hygiene, but for this upcoming academic year, uh, 2020, 2021, so anybody um, who is applying and graduating from high school in May or June of 2021, um, we are going to be test optional for nursing and dental hygiene. So um, those programs we're gonna evaluate um, based on your GPA, but given everything that's going on with the testing, um, we are going to be test optional for those two programs for this year. And then if you're applying as a transfer student, um, it's on the common application, um, your official high school transcript, the final transcript, 
or the official GED score report. Um, we will look for the official college transcripts from all the colleges and universities you've attended. Um, we look for the same amount of letter of recommendation, just the one. Um, we are test optional, uh, except for um, in some cases with your nursing or dental hygiene, if you graduated with high school within the last three years, um, we will sometimes request your uh, test scores. And then some of our programs, if you're transferring, will require an interview. Um, if you uh, are interested in learning about what programs off, uh, require an interview, definitely reach out um, because there are some programs as a transfer student that you would have to interview with as well. And that is it. Um, I am more than uh, a well, uh, more than available to answer any questions um, and provide my contact information. But definitely, thank you for coming for the info session. If you don't have any questions now, you can always reach out later. Um, but I will hang on, and um, you can put them in the chat, or um, you can unmute and let me know. Uh, either way works.